Simon 20 and 0, Alexander 15 and 0. Red of the champion, Harry Simon, remember. And Alexander just leading with the right as he comes out, changing stance at the beginning of this round, maybe looking for something a little bit different. In a way, it's a no-win fight this for Simon. He's not gonna rip up any trees or cause world headlines if he does it. In that respect, psychologically, all the advantages are with Alexander. Having said that, he would have preferred a bit more notice to take on a fellow like this. Yeah, world title fight on a deer's notice, uh, not the best thing. But you have to take the openings when they come. Yeah, he's a pro, he's been in training, you know, he'll be in shape, so he's got to have the shot. Oh, it's a great left uppercut there. Picked the shot beautifully, Alexander. And in this round at the moment, matching the champion punch for punch. Simon having some nice effective work with the right uppercut inside, just lifting the head up of Alexander. You get the impression, don't you, that something's got to give here pretty soon. Most definitely, Simon, a contender stay in with Alexander. He thinks he can take Alexander's punch and he can dish out a better one. That's a heavy right hand to the body, and a right cross twice over, three times over, four times over from Simon. Alexander shakes his head as if to say, not her, but he's beginning here to be dismantled if he's not careful. Look how brave he is, he comes back. Flying leather from Alexander too. Well, Alexander was inspired as an 11-year-old watching Hackler fighting Hearns. It's not quite that, but it isn't half bad. Yep, it's a good one but he can't allow himself to get hit through the middle like he did there with Simon. Simon looking very good putting these salvos of punches together. Again, heavy right hands. Alexander remains on his feet. And he's not a negligible puncher, Harry Simon, but you do feel these shots must take their toll. Simon applying the better variety, looking for body shots, nice little overcut inside. Well blocked by Simon. As Alexander looked for the left hand. Oh. Countering left, more accuracy, sharpness from the champion. Loading up for the big right hand, Simon really planting his feet, looking for power. Well, no one can say to Wayne Alexander, whatever happens here, that he didn't give it every single ounce. Well, they're telling Wayne Alexander, Jimmy Tibbs there, he will go in a minute. Yeah, he just wants him to tug up, but he doesn't want to take too many. Tug up, wait for his opportunity to get the shot on. But, you know, he's taken a few too many in there, and that's what Jimmy Tibbs is worried about. He needs him to apply a better defence. into the fourth round. Not many people thought this would go even this long. There's been terrific action so far. Alexander shooting a little glance at referee Paul Thomas, thought one had gone a bit low. Yeah, there's a shot going a bit low from Simon, who's putting the shots up again. He does look very strong, doesn't he, this champion? He's not one of the big world stars yet. Of course, Felix Trinidad is very much the light middleweight boss, but they say he's going up to middleweight. And Simon is planning a move pretty imminently as well up to middleweight, he says, and his camp say, though he's made 11 stone easy enough for this one. It's been a heroic effort, this from Alexander, hasn't it? So yes, far. a good effort. He certainly hasn't been you know, under-motivated or lack of confidence. He's went in there like a true champion and given his best. Just covering up a little better in this round, too, Alexander. I think they've told him, get the gloves up, don't take so many, and just look for a shot from behind that high held guard occasionally. Just a little less reckless. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Just look, just wait your time, look for the opening, try not to get hit too much on the way in, but then explode with a big one if he can. Tell you what, Simon has proved his chin here too, hasn't he? 
Yes, he has, but he's a, he's a quality fighter, beating him with some good ones. And this a fascinating division as well, not only worldwide, but domestically too, with Anthony Farnell, who's the WBO number one, ahead of Alexander, who's the WBO number three. I can't work that one out, since Alexander's the British champion, but there you go. Good body shot, the right hand from Simon, looks hurtful. Switching the attack to the body. Looks tired now. Mouth gaping open, Alexander. Uppercut gets home as well. How much more has he got? Another big right hand. And he's taking these shots. Who'd have thought it? A lot of people had Alexander down as the kind of guy, although he could hit hard, was too fragile. But how's he doing this? Well, he certainly isn't that. Not on this performance. This is tough and gutsy from Alexander. Still looking for his own. Still trying to dredge it up. And I'm sure he said something to Simon in there. Well, I'm not sure if he's talking to Simon or talking to himself. Just trying to motivate himself. Does look tired, though, Ian. Well, he'd have to, wouldn't he? He's had to take a lot of shots. He's given plenty of his own. And he's rocked Simon once or twice. But the champion still looks ominously composed and at the moment you'd have to say in charge yeah looks much the freshest Simon and that was his round again there's the Harry Simon okay. corner is there a bit of damage by the right eye there it's hard to see from here yeah it's hard to tell they're certainly rubbing at something that looks maybe just to be a little bit of swelling Dean Powell and Ernie Fossey in there helping out Harry Simon that body shot you could almost feel that from here yeah, he's put in some good body shots. Got the better variety, Simon. Getting through with the better punches. But it's still a very good effort from Wayne Alexander. Four rounds gone. I've given three of them to Simon. And one to Alexander. What's Paul Thomas got to say here? Not happy with something. Oh, uh, heads, yeah, OK. This is round five. Due to go 12, of course, they're fighting for Simon's WBO uh, light middleweight championship late substitutes do sometimes win remember Steve Robinson coming in at 48 hours notice to win the WBO featherweight title against John Davison a few years back it has happened one guy was even taken out of the crowd after eating uh, what was it a hot dog or a pizza or something on the night Tom uh, Tim Tomaszek against Tommy Morrison for the WBO heavyweight crown. And that is getting a bit silly. <laughs> he lasted four rounds. Which is better defensively here from Alexander. I think he's known really that if he's going to last much longer in this fight, he will have to tighten up a bit. He can't keep on gambling, but I think that's a psychological success for Simon, who's taken everything that Alexander had to offer by way of big punches and yep. still looks very, very solid. That's right. That will make him more confident. But it's good for Alexander just to bide his time a little bit, you know, just take a breather. He might just catch Simon making a mistake on the way in. bit less in these shots now from Alexander looking to pick his punches more and he's been forced really into that strategy it's a bit like a side who've been wowing everybody in division two suddenly having to go up two levels at once into the premiership isn't it well he's on the back foot Alexander not really the way he's known to fight. Oh, it's another hurtful looking left of the body. He throws every punch with menace and the body shots means he has to take a break. It was a conscious decision really by Alexander. The body shots. And in trouble here in round five, the first count of the contest. Now is Simon ready to finish it now in the last, what is it, half a minute of round five? More body shots, and Alexander is being picked apart, I'm afraid, now. Yep, Simon's showing his class. Variety, good punches coming on. He's looking for the finish. He stopped it. 
Paul Thomas calls it off in the fifth round. Alexander doesn't have to take it.